Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about the third problem of today's weekly contest. This is an interesting problem, like this is uh, very similar, this is an easy level problem as well or medium level problem as well. But uh, in this video, we'll be taking a look why other solutions apart from range query data such as like segmentary or fan victory are possible here or when exactly you can say that okay I can solve this problem without using segmentary when can you do this so it will be interesting and it might uh, help you understand when can you pick your right tools to solve a particular problem so with that let's start so problem states that you are given a array cost where ith index denotes the cost of hiring ith worker now there you have to exactly hire k number of workers and each each like you will be conducting one hiring round to exactly hire one worker so in total you will be conducting k hiring rounds now in each hiring round you will be considering this number of candidates like candid first k like let's say this candidates is denoted by c so you will select first C workers and last C worker, whichever has the minimum cost, you will hire that. For example, let's say this is a cost array and candidates is equals to two. So in the first hiring round, you will be selecting, for, you will be considering the first two and the last two workers. Now you will be selecting or you will be hiring the one which have the minimum cost. So among these two and these two, this one has the lowest cost. So you will be hiring this particular worker. Now, once you hire this worker, you can't rehire it again. So you will just remove this worker from your working set altogether. So your, to your new set of workers are 32772. Now, in the second hiring round, you will repeat the process. You will select, you will choose workers from first two or last two workers and uh, selecting the one with the minimum cost so here this uh, the first worker and the last the last, second worker and the last worker both has the minimum cost so you will be breaking the tie with the smallest index so you will be selecting this particular worker okay so you will continue this process for exactly k times and to hire exactly k workers okay and it is given that k is less than equals to cost dot length which means number of workers that you have to hire is always less than number of workers available so it is always possible to hire exactly k workers okay so hope the problem statement is clear now how to solve this so notice that uh, uh, let's denote candidates by c okay so we will always call c and whenever i refer c i mean candidates okay so let's say you have to what you have to do we have to consider the first C workers and the last C workers and among the first in the last C workers we have to select the one which have the minimum cost okay so this is like uh, if you are aware of any kind of range query data structure segmentary pen victory or anything like that you can understand or you can get a feel that okay I can simply apply segmentary here uh, let's say and I what I will do I will just uh, perform a query from this L and R, like first K and the last K. Now after performing these two queries, I will just take the minimum and that will be my answer. Now that is correct. And uh, notice that you have to, let's say you have to remove this two in the first iteration, right? Now, once you have to remove these two, how exactly you will remove this in your segmentary? So if you actually make a removal and build a new segmentary, that will not work because complexity would then be order n for each query that you don't want. So for removal, what you can do, you can just replace it with a very huge number, let's say 10 to the power 9. Now, why this would work? Because everything here is less than, like the cost of every worker is exactly less than 10 to the power 5. And if you replace it with 10 to the power 9, whenever you do any query, so what replacing means replacing actually means that it should not interfere with any of your queries so if you replace it with something very huge it will not interfere with any of your queries you can perform any queries uh, efficiently because you are sure that this index will not be selected in any of the queries because this is very huge right so 
that's how you will perform removal and now once removal is done you can like rest is very simple you can just build the segmentary keep iterating over it k times and finding the uh, minimum in first k and the last k now notice that after removal of two the first k would contain seven as well uh, sorry first c would contain seven as well now how to maintain this L and R is exact is similar in this approach and the approach we will be discussing forward. So I will uh, skip it for now. Now, no, assume that you know how to uh, know L and R for each hiring session. So after that, the rest problem is simple. So what we have to just do, we have to just do the removal efficiently, and for that, we just replace the element with something which is very huge, so that it doesn't interfere with our queries. Okay. Now. This problem can be solved without segmentary or Fenwick tree or any dense query data structure as well. And the most important part is to understand why it can be solved. Like uh, it might be intuitive for some of you, but it might not be for a uh, lot of you. So I will just try to explain. So what what kind of queries are we getting? Like we have to perform L comma right on segmentary. Now what kind of queries are we getting? We are getting first query, let's say 0, comma uh, 3, right? Now, what will be the next query? Next query would be 0, comma 3 or 0, comma 4 or 0, comma 5, but would never be 0, comma 2 or 0, comma 1 or 0, comma 0. Like this can never be possible. This can be possible. So all the next queries will not skip any of the elements that we have already considered okay so this is an important property that whatever query we are making will not skip any of the elements that we have already considered and because of this we can actually uh, use just a set or any range uh, or any sorted data structure that can give us the minimum that can do a insert and that can uh, remove a particular index as well so we will just need a data structure that can perform these three operations efficiently insert a pair a y pair because we need to break the tie with the indexes so only storing uh, value would not be enough so it can be able to insert a pair it can remove the list pair because you have to hire that worker and then it can also give you the uh, least pair and all these three operations should be very efficient efficient i mean uh, in or order of log n or root n right so because this property is satisfied we can use a data to something like this okay so hope this point makes sense just to reiterate we can do this with segment tree or fenwick tree or any data structure but here the one important property that requeries will be incremental any index that we have considered before we are sure that we will not be ignoring that in the next query and because this property is satisfied we can build a data structure or a sorted data structure that consider everything from here and now as and when we will add new elements we will just add the element to our data structure and this data structure can actually uh, insert a pair efficiently it can also remove a pair because we have we may have to remove some pair after hiring that worker and then it can also give you the list because that is the final operation that you that you want to perform okay so hope this difference of when you can skip segmentary or when you have have to apply segmentary is clear now now if you like the point I, I would uh, uh, encourage you to give the like button uh, that will keep me motivated so now Moving forward, we know we can uh, use a data structure something like this. So let's see how we can uh, apply such kind of data structure. So let's move. So we can simply consider all these k element, all these c elements, and the last c elements in a in this data structure. So first, let's talk about what kind, what data structure can this be? This can be heap or this can be set or multi set in C++. So heap, uh, because you have to remove the least pair, so heap can actually give you the least pair efficiently and it can remove the least pair as well efficiently. So, and inserting a pair in heap is also auto login. 
so heap can be used here and a set usual set in c++ can also be used here right so i will be using set but heap would be very similar okay so now in the first iteration we will select first c and last c and we'll put all these thing into our set so our set contains all these things uh, or exact exactly it will contain uh, 17 comma 0 similarly 12 comma 1 and so on and so forth okay now because it contains both index and the value it will be sorted first by value and then by index so if let's say this uh, 2 comma 3 is also there and 2 comma 5 is also there so because 2 comma 3 is smaller than 2 comma 5 2 comma 3 will be first in our set so whenever we will pop the minimum we will get 2 comma 3 and that's what we want okay so the usual sort order will work now once you have built a set out of it you can just select the minimum as mentioned minimum will be 2 comma 3 so you will remove this from your set okay now once you remove this from your set you like you have to add a new element because you know in, a, in your next query you again have to select first c worker so you, your first c worker now contains 7 as well right so that's what you have to do now how exactly you will do that so let's say you maintain two pointers l and r l denotes how much in the left you have to cover to have exactly c elements and r denotes how much in the right you have to cover to have exactly c elements so initially l would be pointing to c minus 1 and r would be pointing to n minus c now once this part like once let's say you uh, remove some index you know the value of index right now you remove some index once you remove this index you can check whether it lies before l or not if it lies before l it means one of the elements before l is deleted so l should be incremented right similarly whenever you let's say you have you removed this 8 just assume this now once uh, let's remove this c because this c so now once you remove this 8 you can just check whether the element or the index you removed is actually greater than r or not if it is you can decrement the r as well okay so that's how exactly we will perform or we will maintain which all elements should be there in our working set so here 7 is uh, uh, like 7 is again a uh, element which you have to consider so you will just add 7 to your working set okay so that's how you will maintain l and r so hope this point is clear what exactly we are doing we will just maintain we are just maintaining l and r which initially points to c minus 1 and n minus c now once we remove an index we know we can just check whether it lies before l uh, or after r it can happen that it can satisfy both so you have to check that point as well and if uh, it exists before l you will increment l or if it exists before uh, after r you will decrement r and once you increment or decrement you will consider that index in your working set or basically you will insert that pair in your set now because uh, it can happen that l points to something which is already removed so let's take an example let's say uh, let's say you have to hire uh, three workers in this particular situation now in the first iteration you will be removing this right so initially your l was this and r was this right now because you removed this you have to increment l right so your left side working set would become this right now you ha don't have to decrement r because the index you removed is not after r okay now in the second iteration you will be removing this because this is the minimum now because it in it exists after this you will be uh, decrementing it and the, you can con you can consider this in your left as well so this will not matter because you are using set so in every index would be exactly once so now 
now you can think like what what exactly you will remove uh, this is the third iteration you will be removing seven right so once you remove seven you can see that l is pointing to this now once l and r cross each other right once l and r cross each other you don't need to add any other element because if l and r crosses each other it means all the elements are already there in the set so this is the extra point that you have to consider okay so hope this entire solution is clear what we have done we have just made we have just identified that uh, uh, query is exact is uh, following some pattern and because of that we can skip segment retrieve or any kind of range query data structure and we have just taken a set to maintain the set of uh, to maintain the elements that are currently under consideration and for maintaining the ranges we will we maintain two pointers l and r l will be pointing to c minus 1 and r will be pointing to n minus c initially and uh, we just uh, like in uh, when once uh, anything is removed we'll check whether it is before l or after r and once that is done we will uh, remove if it is before l we will remove we will increment l if it is after r we will decrement r and once it is decremented we will consider that new index as well okay so hope this point is clear now if you are using set you have to actually take care about this condition that you can't uh, actually uh, take an already taken element okay so that that that's the exact single point that you have to consider and everything else is very similar so i am not showing this showing the code for this deliberately uh, because i want every one of you to go ahead and implement this solution with both segmentary and this approach uh, segmentary is very straightforward uh, if you know about segmentary you can try that but this approach you definitely try uh, with heap as well as set okay so if you have any doubts in while implementing please post them in the comment section below i will be happy to answer if you have any doubts overall please post them as well if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one thank you